Hello everyone and welcome to the YouTube channel of Being ACCA. This is Tushita Gupta, ACCA affiliate and in this video we are going to be beginning with the section A of the PM Kaplan kit. So the first topic that we have, the first subtopic on which the video will contain questions is from management information systems. So I'm going to be solving the first 15, uh, the first 14 questions that pertain to this topic. So let's get started with the first one. Which two of the following are typical advantages of investing in a new information system? So whenever you are investing uh, in a new information system, what will happen? First of all, uh, the first option is enhanced compatibility with other systems. So obviously not when it is something new, uh, you cannot expect that it will be compatible with every other system. So enhanced information processing capacity, definitely yes. If I am putting my money into a new information system, I will, uh, you know, I will, this will be a benefit, which is why I'm going to be investing into a new information system that I want to have increased processing capacity. Now, another is processing efficiency. Now, again, I will require capacity as well as efficiency. Enhanced staff training needs, although this is correct, but this is not an advantage. So, this is also eliminated. That makes option two and three as the correct answers. Now, an airline company wants to sell, uh, provide access to a select group of travel agents to real-time information held by the airline regarding the flights, which may have the potential for passenger seat upgrades. So, this is something that, you know, the airline wants to give to a limited number of people uh, who are the travel agents. So, what they can use is they can go for an extranet. Extranet will allow them to share the limited amount of information uh, to the travel agents that they are supplying. So moving on to the third one, a government department generates information which should not be disclosed to anyone who works outside the, of the department. There are many other governmental departments working within the same building. Which of the following would not be an effective, see not is something that is highlighted, would not be an effective control procedure for the generation and distribution of the information within the government department. So uh, let's see, if working from home, departmental employees must use a memory stick to transfer data as laptop computers are not allowed to leave the department. Now again, if we are, you know, using this memory stick, the purpose itself gets defeated. This will not be effective. Why? Because they do not want the data should be uh, the data should be disclosed to anyone who is working outside of the department. So if they are using memory stick all the time when they are working from home, that means this is something that, you know, uh, exposes you to a greater risk of information loss. So this is something that will not be effective in this scenario. Now, moving on to the fourth, uh, fourth question, a small doctor's surgery is considering providing a wireless network for use by nurses to access patient data in real time. Now, which of the following is a disadvantage of using wireless network? So, whenever you are using wireless network, what will happen is that access to the network cannot be limited. Now, this is not really a disadvantage because, uh, you know, uh, the uh, security the wireless network will often allow you to cover larger distances also so uh, this is rather a uh, rather an advantage so uh, the uh, the right answer over here will be that this will be less stable so whenever you have wires whenever there are wires attached that makes a network more stable so when they they will be going for a wireless network that will mean that the stability may get reduced because there are no wires involved everything is wireless so maybe the connections are at a higher risk of getting disturbed so moving on to the fifth one which of the following methods would be least effective in ensuring the security of confidential information? Now, monitoring information, monitoring emails, yes, somewhat effective. Encryption of files will definitely help. Dialback facility will also help. But definitely, if you are having universal passwords, this is going to be a big blunder and this will not ensure the security of confidential information. Universal passwords mean having the same password for each of the, you know, locks or uh, wherever you have putting the passwords. So that will mean that this will be not very effective in securing your confidential information. Now, moving on to the sixth one. Which of the following statements regarding technologies and systems are correct? 
uh, networked computers can save costs by sharing hardware, software, and data. Now, this statement is definitely correct. When you are connected by a network, you can share the hardware, software, also the data. Now, intranet provides quick, effective communication with the suppliers. This is definitely wrong. Intranet is something that is used within the company. With suppliers, you will not be able to communicate with the intranet. Wireless networks allow businesses to expand with less disruption than wired networks. Now, this statement is absolutely correct. When, you know, uh, there are, uh, the, the, the business is growing very, you know, the business is ex expanding very fast. So, wireless networks will give you that, you know, extra connectivity without having the need to buy so many wires and cables. So, uh, new users can also adapt to this wireless network quickly. So, this is definitely correct. The internet can be used to monitor and measure consumer interest. This is also perfectly all right. We have seen organizations that are using the internet to monitor, you know, social media, which has become a very important way of measuring what your consumers are interested in. So my answer becomes option C, which is 1, 3 and 4. Moving on to the next one, this is question number 7. Which one of the following is not a benefit of effective data visualization? So when we are visualizing the data, let's see what are the benefits that we can have. Definitely your reports will be more user friendly because visualization is something that can help people understand things in a more better way. So yes, it does make that user friendly. Now improves the accuracy of the data being analyzed. This is definitely not a benefit and that is why this is your answer. So when you are visualizing the data, you are visualizing the same data that you have collected there is nothing that you are doing with the accuracy of the data so accuracy is not improved only the way how you see it gets improved so that is why option b is the correct answer now moving to question number eight which two of the following are the characteristics of effective data visualization so when you are, you know, visualizing your data, how will you make it effective? Presented only on screen, not necessarily. Real-time information, yes, this will definitely make your uh, data visualization more effective. Then high level only, no, maybe low level or medium level. Presents all data obtained, no, you may have to summarize the data if there is too much data. Then user-friendly, definitely yes. Uh, whenever you will, uh, you know, uh, you are visualizing the data, you make it user friendly so that it, uh, you know, actually achieves the purpose of visualizing that data. Now, guarantees good management decision? No, this is definitely not right because nothing can guarantee that you will be taking good decisions. Now, moving on to ninth, which of the following statements about data visualization is true? So this is the ninth question. The most common use of data visualization is the creation of dashboard displaying real-time KPIs. Yes, this looks correct to me. Let's see why the others are wrong. Data is always displayed in standardized formats to ensure consistency. This may, the always word makes the statement wrong. Data visualization refers to data that is mainly analyzed and presented using basic spreadsheet software. No, many other softwares can also be used for doing data visualization. Increased use of data visualization within organizations increases the need for more IT experts. Now, this statement is also wrong because when you are data, you know, you're visualizing your data, you, it is not necessary that you will need more IT experts. Now, moving on to the 10th one. A company's board of directors were recently embarrassed when a very unhappy junior human resources employee emailed the details of their salaries to the entire company. An investigation revealed that the HR director had lent his username and password to junior employee so that routine maintenance of the human resources database could be conducted whilst the director was on vacation. During the director's vacation, the junior employee had used the director's username and password to access the board's salary records. Now, which of the following controls could have helped to prevent this breach of confidential information? Now, what is something that we could do? 
monitoring the database system logs on a regular basis to see what information is being accessed definitely why because uh, you know if this uh, monitoring was the scenario they would have gotten to know that the hr director's account was being accessed while he was on vacation and that this information was the confidential information about their salaries was being accessed and it was copied and pasted somewhere else so definitely this will help now eliminating other options building levels of access into the database so that only senior staff have access to board level records now again you did have something similar the human resources director did have a username and password but he lent that to him so clearly this is not effective keeping all hr records for salaries on a separate server no this will cause you inconvenience in preparing information whenever you need that having a policy of regularly updating the passwords again even if the passwords were regularly up updated the uh, you know the director would have given the updated password and the employee would still have been able to access the records now moving to question 11 which of the following is a disadvantage of cloud computing reduced flexibility no definitely not it rather increases the flexibility more reliance on third party suppliers this is definitely true why because when you are using cloud computing you are relying on uh, you know third parties and uh, these services are purchased from these third parties so yes this is definitely a disadvantage ha uh, higher maintenance cost harder to integrate systems these are all uh, disadvantages but again specifically for cloud computing more reliance on third party suppliers is a bigger disadvantage now the qualities of good information contained in reports are more easily remembered using the mnemonic accurate which of the following is not normally associated with a quality of good information so uh, it is definitely you know it should be adaptable to the needs of the user so this is correct um this is something which should be there for good information acceptable to the user okay we'll come back to it later accurate definitely understandable definitely now acceptable may or may not be the thing with information is that it has to be presented well whether it is acceptable or not that you know that does not really count towards making it good information so b is my answer because we have to select not normally associated now 13th question an accountant wants to determine the increase in average usage of paper per employee from printing out of emails she is concerned that paper usage in her business has risen by 10% in the last year to 40400 she has estimated that it will take 4 weeks of her time to prepare the report as well as other incremental costs she has estimated that the total cost of preparing the report will be 28000 so uh, you know the increase is just a substantial or you know a very small increase of 10% and you know the cost of preparing the report itself is 28000 so if i just look at the increase in cost my increase in cost so it is uh, it says that the cost has risen by 10% so that means uh, you know uh, whatever our cost previously was it has only risen uh, by uh, you know it has only risen to Forty thousand four hundred. So the increase that I can calculate is less than thirty seven hundred dollars. So which means that the cost is twenty eight thousand, and we are you know it's a matter of only thirty seven hundred dollars. So why should I waste time? So this report is an example of bad information. Which one of the principles of good information does it breach? So this is definitely not cost beneficial. That is why it breaches the principle of cost beneficial. Moving on to the last question. Uh, in the second video we'll go to uses and control of information so the last question says local managers within organizations often use operational reports which of the following features of report would be the most true of an operational report so when you talk about operational reports these are with the local managers so summarized information no this is mainly in your strategic reports mainly external information again this part uh, this forms a part of your uh, strategic reports then accurate information on the current position definitely the local managers will always be looking at the current scenario and this will be accurate now infrequent is also eliminated why because the local managers will have to monitor 
uh, these reports on a very regular basis. So infrequent is also something which is not the characteristic. So this was video one in which we have solved the first subtopic. Uh, the name of the subtopic that we have solved in this video was uh, management information systems. Now in the second video, I'm going to be starting from question number 15, users and control of information. Thank you so much for watching. Please stay tuned for the next one.